Hey guys, how's it going? Jim Bob here, and today I just wanted to discuss uh, what I believe are two very powerful weapons still, uh, slash again, uh, in the Crucible since the latest update. So since the latest weapons patch, uh, not a lot has changed with regards to the primary weapon meta. Um, however, the fact that special ammo was nerfed so hard really makes all primaries uh, a lot stronger and your choice of what primary you do use are a lot more important. So with that being said, the weapons that I'm going to mention in this video probably won't come as much of a surprise to you at all, but I just didn't want to say too much until I really had a chance to play with a range of different weapons and weapon archetypes and things like that uh, since the patch's release. So obviously it's probably no surprise that hand cannons are still very strong, if not stronger at the moment. Um, probably. I would say definitely stronger uh, with the initial uh, bullet accuracy being increased. That's very nice. And we're definitely seeing a lot more of them used in the Crucible now um, compared to pre-patch. The only sad thing though with hand cannons is that the actual within the actual hand cannon family, not a lot has changed really. I mean, some of the other hand cannons are now a lot more viable, but if you're going for the best of the best and the best like bang for your buck, then you still want to be going with those medium rate of fire impact sort of hand cannons like your palindrome and your AS Lunas. And that's kind of what I'm hinting at with the gameplay in the background. Essentially what I'm suggesting to you all, what I've been saying since the release of Rise 9 is go and get yourself the vendor palindrome. It is awesome. And I know obviously a lot of you have your own god roll, Ice Luna, Lord High Fixer or something like that. Um, that's great, but this is sort of for those who don't have like an awesome god rolled hand cannon. Um, this is their chance to get pretty much almost a card roll aside from maybe one one perk. Uh, I don't really have much more to say about those hand cannons and that archetype. They're great. They always have been. They still are. Go get the vendor palindrome and go kick some butt. Um, I will be doing some testing soon to see what sort of the, the minimum range you, you can get away with uh, in the Crucible um, in a future video. So stay tuned for that. Now moving on to the other featured weapon and archetype that I wanted to mention. Uh, this is the second highest rate of fire pulse rifles. They're back. Not that they ever really went away, but they're a lot stronger now with the nerf, or slight nerf to Clever Dragon and, and High Cal Rounds. So the god tier in this weapon category would have to be last year's vendor roll on the Hawksaw. Has max stability, great range, and just overall great weapon, especially now that High Cal Rounds aren't so mandatory on your pulse rifles. Now, while I think that this would be the perfect weapon to have right now, I do understand that you can't go back in time for those of you who didn't get it when it was available from the vendor, or those of you that had new to the game, etc. So my suggestion to you, if you never got one, is try out the B29 Party Favor. It's a great weapon. It's the same archetype and stuff, um, although probably give the vendor version a miss. It's it's not too great. Just just keep holding out for your own version. I know that sucks, but it's it's the state of the game. <laughs> um, otherwise, I really love the Blind Perdition now. Um, just not with High Cal Rounds, I just swapped that out now, uh, which is great. That's one of my favorites. I think the sights on that are fantastic. So I swap between that and the Hawks are a lot. I think just with the slight recent buffs to Pulse Rifles, um, they just feel so much more snappy with like their handling and the in-air accuracy. Um, I even feel like there's slightly more aim assist on this. Um, I don't know if it's just me or is that, is that an actual thing? Can someone confirm that for me? But it is feeling really crispy, like the best that this Hawksaw has ever felt to me personally. So I know it's short, but that's really all that I wanted to mention today, guys. Um, after a couple of weeks of playing with the new patch, testing out all the different weapons and archetypes, um, I've come to these conclusions. And while it may seem predictable and boring, the great thing is that these are the best of the best picks for me. Um, with the recent nerf to special ammo, uh, all primaries got a buff inadvertently. So I'm seeing a lot more variety than ever before, which is really good. And you can really get away with using most primaries now, which is great. These are just, if you want sort of the most consistent and reliable weapons, these are my recommendations. So go ahead and let me know down in the comments what you guys think, if you agree, if you disagree, if you think I'm talking absolute batshit. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, uh, let me know. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like. That's really appreciated. And until next time, just uh, keep doing what you're doing, guys. Cheers.